I still got the homestead dad and today hopefully is the final day of the putting up the pool uh, you guys can see we had the walls up we put up the top rails because we didn't want it to fall down so now we're putting up some hooks as we take these off so you can see I've got a hook here I've got it staked there I'm doing every other one hopefully that's enough um, and then we're gonna start stretching out the liner putting it over we've got a bunch of spring clamps that we're going to clamp it up with and then as we get it clamped up we put a vacuum in the hole over there for the water return and suck all the air out so there's no wrinkles in the pool liner start putting water in put this, everything back together and we're good to go that's the plan let's see if it works that way Uh, 9 15 uh, we've got the liner preliminarily hooked up with um, spring clamps so I've tried to stretch it out as best I can um, with my feet and with the push broom so now what we're gonna do I need to get it over to this corner a little bit so I'm kind of trying to do one of these things um, now what we're gonna do is hook up the shop vac, it'll go through where the water return is, and then try to suck out all of the wrinkles, suck it tight along the side, and as we're doing that, as we get the wrinkles on the bottom out, then I've got a hose over here that's run all the way around from the hydrant, and I've got another hose over here that's run around from um, the corner of the barn, and we'll start filling this up. What's your heart? Sure, say hi. Lou wanted to say hi. Um, and then as we start filling it up um, and we get it stretched to where we want, then we can actually put it over the sides. There's a plastic strip that goes over it and then there's a metal strip that goes over it to clamp it to the sides. And then we put the, the rail back on. So what we'll do is we'll kind of take one or two of these out at a time, these metal brackets here, the top plates, because this also, if you can see, it holds the, um, the pool wall. So we'll take it off, we'll loop this over, we'll clamp it on, then we'll put these back on, and then we'll put that white top rail back on. And then it'll just be a matter of filling the pool. Now hopefully all of this goes well, we get all the wrinkles out, we don't have a wall blowout, and we're good. I mean, the pool's pretty level. I've worked the sand, it's called Cove, I think. I've made the cove up onto the wall so that it doesn't put too much pressure on the very bottom corner. So, hopefully this works. My dad went to go grab a fitting. We're going to try to vacuum this out now.
Oh, the air in between has already gotten so hot. Snap it off and... Okay, pull it away from itself. It's not going to stick. Pull. Okay. So, Daddy, are we for sure going to get it done today? I don't know if that's the plan. Can you get off the ladder, please? No, maybe you can put a couple. Just give me a three-inch piece, two-inch piece. So, go like this. Wait, where is Mom going? Or is she's going to pick up something in the Get off the ladder, please. Um, at a friend from Family Rosary. Daddy, what's that thing? What's what thing? That thing. That's to help vacuum out all the wrinkles. Wrinkles? From the pool liner. Oh. Yeah, it's old. It's got wrinkles. Wait, okay. the pool has wrinkles? Yep. Yeah. Like okay. okay, so we got, we had it as stretched out as we could. The vacuum wasn't working. I don't know if you have to clamp everything around the top, but if we, we have, I'm worried if we take off all of the, the top rails, the wall will start to fall in again because we don't have it hooked at every single section. Maybe that's a unfounded fear, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting some water in and uh, I'm gonna stay in here and we're gonna try to stretch everything towards the edges as we get a little bit of water. And so the little bit of water will help keep it in place once we stretch it. That's the plan. I mean, cause you can see there's enough wrinkles here that we could get another inch or two this way. And you know, same thing over here. So where the water is, you can see it's stretching out and there's no wrinkles. So we just need to keep moving this like this out towards the edges so that we don't have any wrinkles.
on my uh, iPhone because the DJI, I think it overheated. It said it ran out of battery, but I'm pretty sure it overheated. So we've got water in the whole bottom. I've got a water truck coming. Uh, he's able to come this afternoon. Um, he's gonna bring 12,000 gallons. So that'll really help out a ton. Um, I'm hoping by the time he comes, it's like another four hours, that I'll have this up onto the walls, two or three or four inches, so that the whole bottom, the bottom is pretty much stretched as far as I can stretch it at this point. I don't know if you can see, I'm like in I don't know, four inches of water, but it's a little bit deeper here than it is over there. Like the rail is the same, but apparently this got a little bit less level when I was pulling sand, so there's a slight deep end here. Um, so if it gets all stretched out, guys, can you stop, please? If it gets all stretched out, when he gets here with the 12,000 gallons, hopefully by that time, we can have the walls totally stretched up and have the rails back on top of it. And then he puts in the 12,000 gallons. And then what? You want to show him? Putting his face in the water. We can have the rails put on. We won't cut, cut out the, um, the skimmer hole or the water return hole until um, he puts the water in because it could stretch out the liner more. But hopefully by that point, we've got, I mean, the, the floor will be all done. I mean, it's mostly done at this point. We just need a couple more inches of water. So we're getting there. These monkeys wanted to get in and play. So. I'm skimming. You're skimming. Daddy. Yes, you have. To say they're excited for a pool is an understatement. Okay, so took a quick lunch break. Um, been kind of monitoring the pool out the back window and it looks like everything is stretching out really nicely. Um, I'm just doing the best that I can with the videos I've watched and the instructions that I've read. Uh, but so far, it looks good. So I kind of stretched the liner up the wall a little bit all the way around to make sure that no kinks got underneath it. Oh, that just fell off. Oh, one of the coping strips just fell off. Um, but it looks like if you guys look, let me turn the camera around and show you it. It's looking pretty like a pool. Not sure what I was expecting, but like there aren't any kinks in the wall or wrinkles. It's stretching out pretty good. Like you can see down here, there's still some play to it. And that's one of the videos that I watched said to make sure you do this on a warm day, um, 80 degrees or above. Well, it's over 80 degrees and everything's stretching out nicely. We got the, the floor of the liner stretched out as best we could with no wrinkles. I mean, there's probably still, I mean, I can see a couple teeny tiny wrinkles there. That I'll probably try to get in and see if I can get towards the edge but it's all really comfortable on your feet down there and uh, it's looking good we've got about two hours until the water truck comes so once the water truck comes it should be filled up about to there it should be over two-thirds of the way full maybe even more um, they're bringing 12,000 gallons I figure this is somewhere between 18 and 20,000 gallons. So it's 18 and we get 12, that's two thirds of the way. And we've been running the hose for three hours now. So that should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 3000 gallons. So uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be good. I think we'll be getting there. I'm gonna just keep on watching it. I'm probably gonna get in like I said, but uh, so far so good. Okay guys, so we emptied what little sand was left in it. And it actually looks like it's not sand. It looks like it is filter glass, but there was only that much left. So like 50 pounds maybe. Jacob and my dad went to the pool supply store and they got 250 more pounds of um, filter glass. So this was about 50% more expensive, but they say we should get like three times more life out of it and it'll be a much better filter while 
getting that better filtering out of it. So, or that life out of it, if that makes any sense. So it'll last longer and do a better job of what I'm trying to say. So we've got six bags of that to put in. The pool's looking good. Guy's gonna be here in like, what do we say, two and a half hours? Two and a half hours, so we're just trying to get this stuff ready. I think Jacob and I are gonna start putting the top rail back on here so that the pool's back to sturdy on the outside um, because it looks to me like this is stretched out just about the right amount. Um, we can always adjust it later if we have to, but I think we, if we leave it at this level right here and we put the, the rail on, we're gonna be sitting pretty. Famous last words. Well, I wish I didn't have to tell you this, but we've got a um, pretty big setback. The truck is supposed to be here in like an hour and a half, and we're starting to put the railing around the outside. You can see we've got four sections of the railing up, right? Well, Jacob came around over here, and look, there's water coming out. I think we pulled a tear right there. So, I ordered a patch kit for a pool two days ago, and we got it. So Jacob ran inside and grabbed it, and um, is going to see, we're gonna see if we can, I don't know if I have to take the water out, it's like down towards the bottom of the pool, or if we can do it while there's water in the pool, I'm not sure, but not good. Okay guys, I'm back from the pool supply store. I put a sandbag over top of a piece of garbage bag um, and set it over top of the, um, the hole in the liner. And you can see, it stopped the leak. So it did what I wanted it to do. Um, so now I've got a pair of scissors, a towel, I'm trying not to drop, and then the liner um, repair kit. So what they said to do is take the towel, wipe off the area so it's as clean as possible. I'm gonna cut a um, an oval shaped piece of vinyl it's clear like vinyl um i put the cement on here the guy at the store said to fold it together put it down to the the leak and then open it up and then use the towel to hold pressure against the um the patch and i'll probably hold the patch there for it doesn't say how long to hold it for um i don't think I'll probably hold it for a couple of minutes to help it to let it set up a little bit. Um, the water's cold, that's not gonna help. The sun is hot. Um, but then what I'm gonna do is after I feel like it's on there well enough, I'm going to put the sandbag back on top of it because the longer it stays there undisturbed, the more likely it will be to hold and to, to survive. So that's the plan. The guy's gonna be here shortly with the um, truck of water. So I gotta do this quick. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with video because I gotta get in there and there's nobody around, so. Okay, I followed the instructions. Um, hopefully it works. I put the, um, the bag of sand back on top of it. I'm just gonna leave it there. Like for now, I know that with that vinyl patch on and with the, um, the sand on top of it, it's not gonna leak, it, like it will, not leak at all so hopefully this patch holds it does what it's supposed to i put enough glue on it said to be very um not to put a whole lot of glue on so i didn't put a whole lot of glue like i just kind of put a thin layer over all of it i hear a big heavy truck this could be our water so i'm gonna go ahead with putting the water in um, from the truck i didn't cancel the water truck hopefully that works um I haven't seen, there's been no other leaks that we've known, that we've seen, no other wet spots. So, hope it all works. That's the plan. That's what we're going with. There's our water. And you said it'll go in, in 20 minutes? No, I don't, I don't want you to rip it. So he just cranked it up a little bit. 
you see how full it is. We're getting there. We got all the top rail on all the way along. We just got to put the, uh, the caps here and the caps on the bottom. Okay, the, um, the water truck just left. And you guys can see, the pool is just about full. I mean, it's probably still got like eight inches more water we can put in. Um, it's not leaking out like it was before. Um, but I think it seems like it's a little bit wider. So I'm going to make some marks so I know where the water was and is. Um, so that if it continues to widen, I know that it's there's another leak or there's more leaks or that leak's not fixed um i think it's along this one seam where the one was that it would be where the one leak was when i went to fill it there was a little bit of um like an indentation where i think some of the sand had kind of worn away a little bit and it looks like i can see maybe one or two more of those so i'm not sure but I'm actually going to probably put my swimsuit on. The water's cold, but it's not that cold. And um, go in there with the mask and see if I can figure it out. But it's not, if it's leaking, it's not leaking away like it was before. I could see, when I looked at the, at the leak where that bag is, I could see the leak. I could see the, you know, the slight tear in it. I don't see any tears in this and the rest of it. So it's possible there's still a little leak someplace i'm gonna get down there and see if i can find it um but if it is it's it's significantly slower so the kids are super excited the uh ladder inside got knocked over so i'm gonna need to grab that with something so i can get in without killing myself um but yeah we're close to having a pool hey guys i realized i never closed down the video last night you guys are a little bit dirty how's that, that a little better um, so I realized I never closed on the video last night. Pools up. This morning I stopped at Home Depot and got some lumber, threw together a stairway. You can see it's still, there's a decent step to get in, which is fine because that little girl right there, we want to be able to keep out. So I'm thinking if I put a board across at like this height, she won't be able to get in. We may just move the stairs away every time to be doubly sure. Um, I still have to put the caps back on the corners um, right here so there's no edges but I don't have the right hardware so I don't know if it didn't come with us or if it's in a different bag that we put someplace else or what but it's 95% done my dad is actually my dad is actually gonna stop and get the hardware so I can zip that stuff back together and be done with it um, pump and filter is working great I think I told you we, we bought um, six bags of filter glass that's supposed to last like nine to 13 years or something um figured out how the vacuum works so it is supposed to be like 96 today with super high humidity so we're going to enjoy this a ton so thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far please think about subscribing if you've enjoyed it click on the thumbs up leave a comment i really appreciate it Good appreciate it they like seeing comments on the channel so thank you for watching god bless you and your family and I'll see you guys in the next video. Almost three. Are you videoing? Yep. Okay. You guys don't look like you're having fun in the pool on a video. Alright, Lulu, Lulu. You want to come again one more time for the video? Thank you.